Hi guys, Strawberry Curia. Title of this video is uh, is app it is not apples or pears. That's what I'm eating for dinner. Is wine or wine or beer? Okay, which one to drink? Uh, so going back to the past, I mean, I never knew. I didn't even have a clue that alcohol, drinking alcohol every night, like I used to do, leads to cancer. Like I just used to think that it it was just bad for your liver and bad for your kidneys, and that was about it. And when you start getting a bad liver, you know you got to quit boozing. Uh, that's basically just what I thought. Uh, only when I found out, that, like obviously that now I know it's it's basically a toxin. Uh, so last night I fell off the wagon. I just had a couple of beers. I was really stressed about something. Really, really. I mean, I've not, I've not been. I've only drank twice in like getting on fifteen weeks now. Uh, and I was really stressed about something. My wife said to me, "I think you need a drink," <laughs> because uh, she said you're just acting weird. So anyway, I had a couple of beers. Okay. So this is the this is the beer that I drink. That's that's this is what I did. What caused my problem in the first place? I'd have six bottles of that. Okay, they're 330 mil. So on average, average night for me was five to six bottles of that. That's what I did. That's what caused my precancerous condition that I'm curing with diet. So last night I had beer. Okay, so my video is uh, beer or wine. So I'll drink both, uh, or I did used to drink both. So last night I had beer. Now what I find, this is just me, might be different for you, is that I get more reflux with beer. Uh, I think it's because it's so fizzy, like... I felt it last night. I didn't eat before I went to bed. I had a fag because when I have a drink, I, again, I've only had like two fags in 15 weeks. I just, when I have a, a beer, I just can't help it. it just, I just got to have one. I go across to my neighbour and get one. So I had uh, I had a, a fag before bed and through the night I could feel it bubbling up. I could feel it, uh, the beer. I could, it's just there. You just feel it there. You just It's just not good. And then... Uh, uh, I woke up in the morning, but do you know what? I didn't have an hangover at all. I actually felt great. Uh, now, with wine, I don't know if it's because it's stronger. I do get a little bit of reflux off it, uh, but I feel awful the next day. Absolutely awful. Uh, so this morning, I went to the toilet. I mean, urine was like yellow, so I'm dehydrated. Uh, so my opinion, beer or wine, do you know what my answer is? They're both as bad as each other. They're both really bad for you and you need to avoid them at all costs. But then I was thinking today, you know, what if you're an alcoholic? What if you need it? Like last night I needed a beer. I had a beer. All my worries went out the window. Like by my second bottle of that, I felt fantastic. The only worry I had, what good song I was going to put on and listen to. Uh, and, you know, some people are really addicted and they need it. Do you know what I mean? So my advice on that would be, have a smaller tea uh, and start earlier so you've not got a chance to get refluxing up. And then, you, of course, you've got the next day. Now, the next day, you've got all these toxins in your body. If you have to drink, right, if you have to, if you're a drinker and you have to drink for some reason, something that's going on in your life or whatever, and you just need alcohol and fags, then what you need to do is try and have a smaller tea, try not to eat before you go to bed, uh, and lift your bed up uh, on two bricks uh, so you try to keep it down uh, and the next day you need to bombard your body with antioxidants it's that simple because you it's filled with toxins now if you're waking up in the morning hungover and you go and get mcdonald's then all you're doing pardon the french is putting no i can't swear I don't want to swear on my videos okay you're putting crap on top of crap right but you know what i mean uh and then you need to flood your body with antioxidants with as much... I mean, my choice of uh, preference is fruit. I, I like fruit more than veg. If you like veg, eat a load of veg. But you've just got to absolutely demolish it the next day. You've just got to destroy it. You've got to have smoothies, juices, and as much fruit and veg as you can. Now, last night, I couldn't be bothered doing a juice. Normally, I just do a juice a juice every day. So, like, my antioxidant-rich food today, I've had two... Two pears for breakfast and an apple. I've got a, I've got a banana. I've got an orange, and I've got a packet of strawberries. But I have that every day anyway. But if 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 you don't, that's what you need to do the next day. You need to flood your body with antioxidants. You need to give your body the ammunition to get rid of the toxins and repair itself. 
because if you don't you're just adding toxins on top of toxins and how do you expect like to do repair and recovery and regenerate if you're not giving the, your body the ammunition uh it's like giving a firefighter a bloody a, a water gun do you know what i mean to put a fire out uh it's going to do nothing. So you just, that's it, really. That's my advice on wine, beer, and if you need to drink. That's just my opinion on it. Uh, nothing nothing more really to say about that. Oh, just nearly saw a car crash. <laughs> right, nice one. See you in a bit.